I'm sure that we all will have a lot of good childhood memories. And most of our memories would have been related with our toys. And for girls, it would have been Barbie toys. But for the boys, it could be some attractive car toys. There should be colors like red, yellow and orange in their favorites. But a common color which would come in the favorite would be another green color. It's a military green, Jeep Willie. So the love for the Jeep for the guys start from their childhood. So as me, I was so excited when the Jeep was announced to come to India. So Jeep came in with two models, the Wrangler and the Cherokee. With these two models, they couldn't do a big volume because of the pricing. But now they have something to do, a big volume to establish in India. It's a digital model, all new Compass. It was a long time wait for the Jeep lovers to get the Compass on their hand because it was showcased for the media some time back so it has a lot of presence in the media so I've been seeing the cars in photos, videos and all but it's now finally out and we are having the first drive in Goa today. For the Jeep lovers one crucial element would have been the design, how it looked. So it has been successful in maintaining the proper Jeep character with the Jeep styling. The face of the new Compass look very much similar to the elder brother Grand Cherokee. Signature Jeep 7 vertical slack grille along with the new headlight with the white base and the massive bumper give the new Compass a macho look. The rear also follow the American styling for the SUV with the big tailgate gives it more practical and massive look. The new Compass has been successful in maintaining the proper modern Jeep character in its design. You can see the proper proportion which is proper like a Jeep Grand Cherokee which has got a uh, bolder wheel arch, the lines and even the roof rail, everything clubbed together to make it look like a modern any of the Jeep. Some attention to detail has actually caught my attention. One is a lizards over here. There is one Jeep mentioned on the mirror and something some worm on the rear portion, rear window you can see on your side view mirror. This all make you feel you are taking the car to the jungle. So always you have that off-road feel in this design. When you come to the interior of the new Compass, you can see a lot of elements to be highlighted. One is the design, another one is the space and build quality also had to be mentioned here. So design wise, it's a new design but uh, there is a lot of Jeep character you can see in the design. One is the steering wheel, it's a bold steering wheel with uh, three spoke multifunction and uh, uh, the steering is built in a way that you are getting that proper um, tough kind of feel. Another aspect which attracted me is the grey lever knob which is a round one which again look um, very much like a Jeep and um, for a proper off-roader. The ergonomic wise the design is well ergonomically done but um, certain things which I think uh, should have been improved is the glossy finish on the plastic on the center console which surrounds the screen and the air vents. It should have been much better if it was something like a brushed aluminium or maybe a brushed black finish. Um, the touch screen is uh, not that great in the performance but it's usable. When you engage the reverse camera, uh, it's not so clarity like we have seen in much of the cars. Build quality is something should be highlighted in the interior. It's having a proper build quality. So even the uh, soft plastic, it feel tough. And even you can feel that uh, when you close the door. Even that you can see around the car, everything is having a very good quality. A follow is having a very good finish. Um, uh, and the stitches are, are very neatly done. The seats are very comfortable, especially the front seat with a lot of uh, side support and pocket feel. It's giving a proper holding for you when you do off-roading and when you do cornering. Spacious-wise, front is having more space than the rear one. I feel it's more roomy. And seat can be adjusted in a way that you're getting a very good vision over um, outside. The rear is also comfortable, but you lack a bit of thigh support. But one thing which I felt it uncomfortable is the sill level height. And the, the people who are short may feel uh, claustrophobic uh, in the rear portion. So that's one thing which I think uh, they should have maintained a lower sill height. And boot is also uh, spacious enough for a family to take their weekend luggage. Guys, when you come to the driving experience of the all-new Compass, what we have to drive here is the diesel variant, which is a 2-liter one, 
having an output of 170 hp and 350 nm of torque other options are 1.4 liter multi jet turbo petrol which is having around 160 hp and 250 nm of torque and the gearbox options uh, for the petrol are the 6 speed manual and the automatics for the diesel unfortunately we right now have only the 6 speed manual but the powertrain as i experience is a very good uh, combination because the gear ratios are set in a way that it can take the 350 nm of torque especially when it take to the off road which i'll be mentioning about that experience uh, so the gears are ratios are set in a way that the first gear is getting a lot of torque when you do off road and all that the most used gear but second onwards is having more um, on road kind of ratio which is good for the efficiency and uh, better ride so it's a well engineered powertrain so but the gna of any jeep is the off roading ability and compass is not different even though it has not got the low range setting which is not essential because especially in india 98 percentage or maybe more of the customers not even take these cars to off road so for those one or two percentage who do serious off roading have much better options even in jeep or any other brand so i don't think they will stick on to this compass for the normal jeep lovers compass is good enough to take you to some serious off roading which you are experience here both in sand on a beach and on the proper off road terrain which is set for the drive so there is four different drive options on the mode which is auto snow sand and mud so auto as it said it can control itself but when you do a proper off roading unfortunately we won't be experience the snow here but both other one the sand and mud here still so once you set to that mode the total difference and the power delivery to the each wheel change as according to the surface so sand need different kind of motion slush need a different kind of motion and snow obviously different so that can be controlled over here i want to shorten it up that's it um, it's a proper jeep dna can be felt with this drive train controls coming to the other aspect one key thing is the suspension which feel real solid built to last because with these modes if you are taking the car you will be abusing the car and i'm sure that this suspension is there to last you are getting that feel even as a driver or maybe as a passenger it has got that setting which can take different kind of bounds in a different way so this kind of road which is a typical indian kind of road which is a country road which is running right now and maybe we also taken through the silky smooth highway which is a new highway and go both roads it's giving a proper refined ride which any customer would expect if you are shedding out 20 or plus lakhs suspension again a thumbs up steering is other aspect as i mentioned the steering wheel is something really matters when it come to the steering feel and it does a very good job because it's thick enough the layout is good the shape is good so that jeep character can be felt as a solid steering and the steering is responsive it's a speed sensitive steering and most of the customer would be using on city and city steering it is soft and um, refined but on off road also it is precise it's having lot of feedback so that give lot of confidence when you take the car steering plays a big role in giving out you the confidence because this is one thing which you control the car apart from the pedals braking efficiency and everything has tested in various condition all seems to be good and there are other electronic aids to make you safer in this car there is airbags and other thing and rating is also good for the safety so the jeep is pricing this car properly so maybe as i expect the starting range should be around 16 to 17 and can go up to 23 max so maybe 23.5 for the top end limited edition which is this one even though there are few features missing out like the cruise control and sunroof kind of things but how much you use that cruise control and sunroof in a practical note so jeep was all trying to price it right because they don't want to make more mistakes and if they are pricing it right this is the plan for them in india hope you guys really love the experience of the compass with us you can share your feedbacks to our facebook or twitter account and you can even check out our beautiful clicks by our photographers and instagram account 
if you want to get our updates as and when we upload please do subscribe to our channel